for the sprint finish today. We've not talked, we've not seen them too much at the front. And that's Tinkoff Saxo uh, sprinter, Michael Morkov, former Danish road champion, took out a sensational stage a couple of years back in the Vuelta Hispana. But uh, watch out for him, he's on good form. He won the final stage of the Tour of Denmark just a couple of weeks back, but laying low at the moment, but, but could be a bit of a surprise package. Well, you're right, Edvard Bosnagen's chances today. Perhaps yesterday might have been more of a day for him with a, with a tougher finish. He's there today. I would say, though, we've had two riders from his team climb off. Janssen van Rensburg didn't start today. Theo Boss did not finish today. He's only got one man next to him now. That's Gerhard Sielek. Yeah, I mean, they've obviously still got Jed Eulis there and Lou Minkies, but um, when you look at both of those two riders, very young, they're not really the riders he'd expect to, you know, do the lead out at all um, so it's just going to be left to Gerard Sierlach I think we'll see Boson Hagen and Sierlach you know surfing the wheels on the run and using the other teams and they are both very experienced and apt at doing that but I think the the, the drop-off man for Edward Boson Hagen will be Sierlach I'm glad you mentioned Julius there he was in that Viking jersey coming to the front of the peloton as we've got a band playing on water today we had them at the top of a mountain yesterday and there they are it's oh, great isn't it it's it's great to see I'm glad they I'm glad we've seen that bike helmets on as well I'm not sure quite what they're sheltering from but safety first <laughs> brilliant to see 6.3 kilometers to go and giant Alpacine appear for the first time today Ramon Sinkeldam at the back of uh, their train Frederick Ludvigsson on the right hand side Swedish rider very highly rated Swedish rider and they've got Lars van der Haar in their number as well the, the cyclocross specialist to watch out for him he's not a rider we see very often on the road at all so Lars van der Haar, running for John Albertson in the black kit, number 105. But uh, yeah, I think uh, without a doubt, the sprinter they'll be looking after today will be at Raymond Sickledown. Bora Argon 18 showing their faces as well as Marco Haller comes to the front to do his job. There's Christoph in the blue jersey on the left hand side. Katusha with every single one of the five riders present at this race on the front of the peloton at the minute. Remember, Bora Argon 18 riding for the man in the white on the left hand side. That's the Irish rider, Sam Bennett, who sprinted fantastically well up the hill yesterday to a third place. Yeah, that was a great ride by the young Irishman. He, as we said, he had a, a difficult Tour de France and struggled a bit. But when you bury him on, that's all in his legs. Sometimes you can, you can have a nightmare of a time in a long stage race. But if you get through it healthy, you rest up and recuperate. The amount of condition that can come through and it can give you in the later weeks is, uh, is worth so much. And clearly Bennett back in, in superb form at the moment. Kofidis in their red jerseys to the front as well. They have Turgis, who finished very, very well yesterday. Van Steyen was up there as well in fifth place. Adrien Petit, so they've got a fast, fast team with Jonas Alstrand involved as well. Five k's to go, and the sprint teams getting ready to do their thing on the front as we head into the end of stage two of the Arctic Race of Norway. The third edition of this race travelling today from Evonskir to Settermorn, 162.5 kilometres, with uh, Ilnud Zakharin, the winner overall of the Tour de Romandie, on the front for the race leader from the Katusha team, who is Alexander Kristoff. Big favourite again today. Edmond Boston Hagen in the green jersey as well. Look out for him. He was second yesterday. Sonder Holst Engers up there, as is Sam Bennett. Brian Kokow is here, wasn't there yesterday. How are his team going to prepare it for him today? There's Pierre Kemenel of Europe Car right at the back of the race. He's not going to be involved. Jaheni Hurtarovic is here. We've seen Daniel Erato towards the front as well for United Healthcare. Ramon Sinkeldam. And then the lamp preparing of Cimolai and Bonifazio. One of the Italians, surely, going to be close as we go for the line. You yeah, thought so, but still Zachary. I mean, uh, he's almost like, uh, would it be fair to say he's the, almost the Russian version stylistically of Chris Froome? Definitely. <laughs> Especially when he looks down, but so, so strong. It's an interest, interesting look on a bike. But what a sensational year he's had, as well as the win in the over at the Romandy, of course, won that stage in the Giro d'Italia as well. So a very, very good year. But uh, again, happy to sit on the front. Now here we go, into the military base. This is the biggest employer in the town. 3,000 inhabitants, a third of the population are in the Norwegian army. Into Settermorn, and this is where we finish today. Kofid is on the front. Jonas Alstrand doing uh, a big job for them today. Look at the face there, the, the rider from Kofid is just swinging off before Zakarin takes over again. And Kofid has already have a win today too. Norwegian soldiers protecting the entrance of the peloton into this military base, cheering them along as well. That's something you don't see very often, is it tanks either side of the road? Three kilometres to go. 
pace really being picked up now. Even though Katusha have one rider less, they're still remarkably strong. Some riders really struggling at the back end of the field. That's not where you want to be at all. But uh, an inter interesting crowd. <laughs> well, with the army on the side of the road, you have the various platoons at the front trying to do their thing for the sprinters who are about to go into battle. Two and a half kilometers remain. It's still in the Zacharin. It is still Katusha who have their one win already from one stage this week. And they have the race lead, which they will be wanting to keep. Edvard Bossenhagen in the green there can take the leader's jersey today. Remember, Alexander Kristoff just two seconds in front. Zacharin's turn is done. Pardon me, Matt. No, no, no. Zacharin to put a, about a kilometre on the front. You can just see, uh, you can see Sam Bennett just in the white jersey on the right-hand side. Behind him, he's got a couple of uh, Europe car riders in the green. And watch out for the green-clad Brian Cockard. Second on the Champs-Élysées this year. In good form, still looking for a sponsor next year. 2.2 kilometres remain. It's Bora Argon 18 with five riders in front of Sam Bennett. Still, Gerald Siolek hangs on, looking after his sprinter. Scabo Gromai is alongside uh, the man from MTN Quebec, who is Paul. Louis Meinkies. He has Paul Voss just on the front there. He's got Zach Dempster on his wheel, really drawing this along. They've got a lot of faith in the young Irishman, Sam Bennett. And Vossi, fifth overall last year, not afraid as a tank runs alongside the peloton. Well, Again, the Norwegian military showing off now. Definitely something I've not seen before. Two kilometers to go. The Arctic race of Norway putting on a show on the side of the roads wherever we may be in this beautiful, beautiful country. Bora Argon 18 still there. One and a half kilometers remain. Sam Bennett perfectly placed as the lamb preparing of both Chimolai and Bonifacio come up to the front. Also there for Yam Cycling. A little bit of a, a shoulder bump there as Sonder Holstenger makes his way towards the front. Left hand side still Gerald Sielek protecting his main man who is Edvold Boasen Hagen. Bennett there in the white, the best young rider today. The Irishman as we approach the final kilometer, it's still there looking very, very good for Alexander Kristoff, who has two men in front of him. Yeah, Alexander Kristoff has got Sven Erik Bystrom on his wheel. Is Marco Haller, the Austrian road champion, just on the left hand side in the white jersey with the red hoops. It's the, as we go under the kite, Bora Argono 18 who take them under. And it's Katusha who bring their leader right back to the front of the peloton as if on queue as soon as they went onto that one kilometer to go banner there's a lots of bits of orgy borgy already a few shoulder bumps everybody well we want them to stay upright in the final kilometer it is still giant alpha scene with no real organization on the left hand side that single dam who was uh, in or there or thereabouts still alexander Kristoff with marco haller right in front of him it looks as though they're going to take their cue from bora argon 18 as the man looking like he's going to sprint for lamprey is nicolo bonifazio Bonifazio is there as Tinkoff Saxo come up to the front on the left hand side. Ralph Machka is there ready and waiting as well. So final 300 meters is the second stage of the Arctic race of Norway as Alexander Kristoff waits, waits for the moment. It's every man for themselves though through the middle. As Edvold Bossenhagen, he's getting boxed out on the right hand side. Kristoff is on the left, but I'm not sure he's going to get it. He's got to come around a lot of riders to do it. Straight through the middle is Sam Bennett. It is Sam Bennett, the Irishman, who does it for Bora Argon 18. Not quite prepared, the big boys. They could not hit the front. Bora Argon 18 took control from three kilometers to go, did the job perfectly, and Sam Bennett was there to finish it off brilliantly. What a superb win by Sam Bennett here. He came from the middle of the melee, almost from nowhere. We hardly name-checked him, but left it very, very late to come through the vacuum of the bunch by take it, taking it by a couple of lengths. Fantastic stuff. Wonderful stuff from Sam Bennett. Brilliant organization by Bora Argon 18. And right in the middle of an army base, it was a lead out that was pulled out in almost military fashion. Alexander Kristoff couldn't quite manage to hit the front. Edvard Barsenhagen was boxed out on one side. It was every man for themselves in the middle, but Bora stayed true. They stayed on that center line all the way through. And we hardly saw him towards the end. Perfect lead out for Sam Bennett. He hit the front and won with pretty much big E. Zordalor, the man in second place. Christoph gaining towards the end, not gaining enough, though. He finishes third, and I think that uh, the bonus seconds will be enough to see him keep the race lead as well. So a victory for Bennett on the day, and the race lead stays with Alexander Christoph. That was a, you know, I wouldn't say it was a scrappy sprint, but there were so many riders in contention until very, very late, but uh, some really remarkably adept timing there 
by this man in the white jersey. Best young rider. And obviously he'll get the time bonus there, 10 seconds. Interesting to see how the overall classification looks. There's the slow motion replay again. It's uh, Breton Session Viremont just on the front, but a very, very big tur quick turn of speed there from Enrico Zerlo of United Healthcare. But there's Bennett coming through. Christoph leaving it very late. Bennett takes it by a length and a half.